course it's worth it. And look, that smile says it all. She beat Mustafina. Look at Mustafina's face. <laughs> I mean, she beat her fair yeah. and square, didn't she? That's the thing. It's not like people can say, oh, she only won it because someone else failed. But mm. every gymnast in that final performed really well. And Rebecca, she performed the routine of a lifetime and she won it fair yeah. and square. And we heard there Rebecca talk about that deliberation yeah. over breakfast. I mean, what a traumatic time to be thinking, what do I do, what do I do? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's very interesting, Becky. I know has had a lot of conversations between Claire, Amanda, what routines to perform when. And I know Amanda for the team competition was very insistent on mm. going with the play safe, get her into the final. Whereas Becky mentioned previously, she's gone all out from day one. Yeah. Um, so for her to deliberate over breakfast this morning, yeah. it, between her and Claire, I'm sure they made the decision. Amanda always made the decision for myself. And I remember, obviously, through your routines, you would watch that confidence kind of grow and build throughout the actual yeah. routine. And you could sense it there, couldn't you, with yeah, Becky? Yeah. And suddenly, when she landed, and that emotion, just that release and relief as she's walking back, you can see what it means. You can see. I mean, obviously, they were saying it's... 2006 when she last won an individual medal she's been in so many individual finals and it hasn't quite come off so um the fact that she's finally done it mm. is it all just came out and she couldn't control it but it's so nice to see that because it shows how much it means to her and what proud parents well i'll you tell know, you what mum i know was in the audience and the fact that ellie's got a Two european champion yeah. so there's, i think there's going to be a few parties tonight Gosh, well, if we can contain ourselves and if uh, <laughs> Becky, bless her heart, can manage to keep her composure, she's now in the beam final. So let's just have a little look at the start list there because she's got a little bit of time there. Look, she's in seventh uh, position, so she has got a bit of time to compose uh, herself. But, well, goodness me, there's a lot of good competition in this. Your dash in the middle there, the current European champion. Um, Karen Kova, she qualified second junior European champion back in 2012. And as we've said there, Becky, current British champion, uh, on beam there, she's going in seventh. So we're going to join this competition with Fian Kudletza. She's the third highest qualifier. Uh, we'll see how this competition goes. Marta Fian Kulesza of Poland, seven-time Polish all-around champion. Yes, 26 years of age, the oldest performer in these championships. And there we go straight into the acrobatic series. Free walk over side somersault. Slight wobble. Very graceful on this piece of apparatus. With her own choreography. The leap. Free cartwheel. Oh, now that's an interesting jump, full turn, split leap. Very difficult, very hard to control. Now another interesting full pirouette on uh, one foot. It's a nice originality. There's another split leap. And she wobbles to stay on the beam. Very well fought there. Maybe the nerves showing slightly. Standing back some assault. Qualified in third place. She will have to stick the dismount. And then we have another gain, a full twist off the end of the beam. Lots of mistakes there, Christine. Yes, a little bit of a disappointing performance. She really did well in qualification. The free walk over, she holds the leg up into the side summary. That's her acrobatic series. Judges have to decide whether she linked them completely. Gymnasts have to work low on the beam. This is the yeah. change leg leap with half turn. She didn't quite get the right shoulder round. <laughs> she fought and fought and fought. <laughs> she wasn't giving up, was she? No. I'm sure those jumps at the end and the tuck back were all meant to be linked to give you some bonus. But this is, you have to travel away from the beam and somersault. It's really quite difficult. It, it's a bit unspectacular. 13.733. It's the score to beat for the moment, but very early stages of the beam final. 
This is the reigning world champion on the beam, Alia Mustafina of Russia. Beautifully elegant gymnast. Wonderfully classic. There's the two leaps that you have to include, and she's immediately into the combinations, linked to the side somersault. Super changed their calf into the Anodi, the backflip with half turn, went for that connection beautifully. Double spin. Gymnasts have to include acrobatic and dance skills, three dance skills at least, so she's done a big change their calf and a double spin. This is important, free walkover, immediate handspring. That's her acrobatic series. And then you have to do forwards and backward elements, so she uses a relatively simple backflip or common free cartwheel and the change leg to ring has to take the head back the judges have to decide did the head touch the foot she's been very composed so far barely a flicker this has been good Quite a long pause at the end. They'll deduct here, but a big round off. Double tuck. Very good work from Mustafina. She wants that medal. Having lost out the gold on the uneven bars, she really looks like she's after something here. Magnificent performance there under that pressure coming straight from the bars. Over here, very measured, very solid. She was almost glued to the beam. Look at that. The jump, split leg leap into the side somersault there's a very difficult double spin and then stands up into the double back great landing uh, back to business for mustafina she's put herself into a strong position 14.733 for alia mustafina can maria karankova of russia challenge junior european champion on beam in 2012 Qualified in second place, straight to business. There's the front somersault, the acrobatic series. And backwards, flick, flick, straight back. Wow, that is fantastic beam work. Straight into the split leaps. Great control there, full turn, full turn. This is beautiful beam work, free cartwheel. Split leg leap, into the pipe back somersault, wow. Great difficulty. Free cartwheel, free walk over. Only 16 years of age. There's another leap. Beautiful flexibility. Split leap, half turn. Now, she'll need to compose herself for something special here. Flick, flick. Double pipe back. Wow! What a routine that. Woohoo! This was an absolutely jam-packed routine. Flip to one, flip to two, straight back. No question of it being straight, as high as can be. Two backflips, double pike. And it's a very good score. 14.933, that difficulty, 6.4, puts her into the lead. And now on beam, the defending champion, it's Larissa Jordash of Romania. And your dash can match anybody on beam for difficulty. But it's very risky. Watch this first. Backflip, stand up, full twisting tuck. Landed very nicely indeed. But not content with just one super difficulty. She comes straight back. This is a round off, straight somersault and just a wobble on that. She held that really very well indeed. Super control and amplitude on that spin with the leg held right up in front of the face. All gymnasts have to include a full spin. 
Links the leaps, the change leg leap into the change leg half. More bonuses added there. Free walk over, no question of it being joined, but again, a tiny little wobble there. Side somersault, the gymnasts lose sight of the beam there. This has been a strong performance, and this such originality in the dismount watch round off backflip punch up high triple twist just a little hop that was a strong challenge from your dash couple of tiny wobbles but very difficult very difficult round off straight back that's where she did well to stay on the beam great leaps i'm sure there were no doubt with the combination look at that split leap half turn Free walk over, free go in. And look at this dismount. Round off flick, triple twist. Well, she won't be defending her title, but Larissa Yordash goes into second place. 14.8 for the defending European champion. Becky Downey then, the European champion on bars. Can she turn what has already been a brilliant day into a spectacular day with a medal on beam? Who knows? Becky Down is a beautifully fluent, elegant gymnast. But it'll be quite a test to have come from the high to perform here. But that was a lovely front somersault, little hop on landing. Free cartwheel into the layout somersault, lovely technique. She's a super supple gymnast, Becky. And you can see with those leaps, every gymnast has to join two leaps. That was hers. Big deductions if you don't. Full spin backwards. And then the free walk over, immediate split jump. She's going for those connections. She knows if she wants to push into the medals, she's really got to go for all the connections. Really good side somersault. This is important. The leap with the head back, and she does that very well indeed. Head taken all the way back. Now the legs have to do some power work for the last time in this championships. Big round off, big push, double pike, super stuff from Becky Downey. She is on fire. Woohoo! What a performance there from Becky Downey. I don't know where that confidence has come from. That gold medal uh, from the bars has just transformed onto the beam. I mean, so much uh, confidence and control. Look at this, nail there in the free cartwheel, into the layout, somersault, front walk over, into the split leap. Fantastic flexibility and probably the highest double pike dismount we've seen off the beam in this final. Just outside the medals for Becky Downey, 14.366. She knows she is European champion on bars. Uh, final competitor. Claire Martin of France, just 16 years of age. Qualified down in seventh. Mounts the beam. Gymnasts only need a a mount difficulty it's a way to compose themselves flick layout very precise free walk over side somersault nice choreography very difficult full spin between control and flexibility there. Split leap, split leap, half turn. Very elegant gymnast. Free cartwheel. I think this is the first French gymnast we've seen in these finals. 
And we go into the round off double pike. Oh, unfortunate landing there out too soon. So big celebrations there from the Russian team. They know they've got the medals. They know they've got one and two. We wait for the score to come in for Claire Martin to wrap up proceedings in the beam final. 13.366 puts her down into seventh place. It means that Becky Downey will finish in fourth, just outside the medals for her. So Maria Karankova is the European champion. Larissa Yordash, who was uh, the defending champion, silver this time round. And Alia Mustafina, the reigning world champion, takes the bronze. And um, Becky Downey is heading in the right direction on the beam, certainly, uh, has the gold medal. And that is what she'll remember from these championships in the bar, that bars final. So gold, as we know, on the uneven bars in the beam, just missing out on the podium. Yeah, for beam, I mean, I was on such a high after bars, it was, and it was very emotional because obviously I, everyone knows I've waited so long to get this medal. And um, I kind of had about 10 minutes to go into the back gym. I quickly changed leotards just to like freshen up and kind of get my head back in it. And I had a quick go on the beam. My warm-up was a bit pathetic, to be honest. I was a bit all over the place. My coach just said to me, just calm down, you know the routine. And um, I just went in there and just went to enjoy it. Because the last two comps that we've done on beam has been huge pressure for the team. So there was a bit of a relief that that pressure had kind of gone. Um, I just went to, wanted to enjoy it and to produce the best beam score I have at these championships is a great achievement and it's my first beam final so I couldn't have asked for any more.